Natural medicines is a new trend in modern medicine. Ukrainians are well versed in it and have something to share with the world. What new can Ukrainian scientists offer for growing herbs and producing herbal raw materials? This will be interesting to those who want to make it their business and who simply prefer natural healing. After a whole year of synthetics, we have realized that natural is better than artificial. Even the WHO predicts that soon the drugs that are made from plant material will catch up to and then overtake other pharmaceuticals. Around 40% of those are produced in the world and it may be all 60% by the end of the decades. In Ukraine, already more than a half of medicines are made from herbs with 70% of those healing cardiovascular diseases. However, we should admit that the popularity of herbal medicines is growing not only because many of us have become supporters of the natural. It just turned out that many people suffer from allergies or have chronic disease, so they need long-term maintenance therapy, which does not have side effects. According to expert data, the world market of medicinal plants reaches 600,000 tons per year. A considerable part of those herbs is grown in Ukraine. Now it has slightly decreased by the Crimean share after Russia annexed the peninsula. However, climatic conditions of other regions also contribute to the development of the fetal business. Experts argue Ukraine might well be one of the largest European manufacturers of high-end medical and other oil raw materials. We assigned our scientists the task of producing exactly that amount of raw materials needed for the pharmaceutical industry today. By the way, herbs are needed not only in the pharmaceuticals but also in cosmetics, perfume, food and alcoholic beverage industries. Many still believe that such plants are wild and are harvested only in forests and meadows, but in reality many of these species have long been cultivated. The fact that Ukraine is not an amateur in this sphere is confirmed by a number of academical institutions. It all began a hundred years ago in Poltava, the oldest medicinal plants research station in the village Berezotosha is now a division of the Institute of Agroecology and Environmental Sciences. What do scientists research there? They develop modern cultivation technologies so that yields will be higher, costs would be lower and products will be better. They breed varieties to better take root in different regions and be resistant to pests and environmental conditions. They pick the best samples of seeds and seedlings so that entrepreneurs would be able to develop this sector. Preserving genetic resources of Ukrainian plants is not less important. Herbariums and botanical nurseries were created exactly for this purpose. The latter is a laboratory for studying well-known and new species. An acre and a half is abound with about a thousand different varieties of plants. You might not even think that some of them have healing properties. All plants are divided into groups depending on what they treat. Galega officinalis reduces blood sugar levels so people with diabetes can drink tea with it. The Bohdan variety has the highest content of substances that help to fight the disease. Lofant anisic that helps boost the immune system grows nearby. There is an interesting plant which Tibetan healers equated even to ginseng. It has a very wide chemical composition. Therefore, it is a widely used medicinal plant that treats various diseases. The local population uses this plant for bathing infants because besides having a cleansing effect, lofant anisic also has a calming effect. Babies sleep very well after bathing in it. The plant is widely used and is, for example, recommended for men for enhancing male power and potency. Actinidia was initially perceived as an ornamental plant because of its unique flowers, but then it was found that its fruits act as immunostimulants. It is also called Japanese or Chinese kiwi because the fruits of these plants are very similar to kiwi. They are used as vitamin remedy and in medicinal plant cultivation. They are considered to be a very good tonic. The magnificent Echinacea purpurea is similar to chamomile, which can be used to decorate your flower garden. It is used in the food industry and cosmetic, but its main purpose is to strengthen a person's health. 
принцеса Прері, яка прийшла до нас з Америки і чудово себе зарекомендувала. В нашій дослідній станції This Prairie Princess that came to us from America has proven itself well. We started researching it in 1964, but it has become the most widely known after the Chernobyl accident since the plant can remove radionuclides from the human body. It is also a good immunostimulant and both the root and the flower of this plant can be used to human benefit. We have two varieties of those, the sorceress and the princess, which have a high content of active ingredients. The inconspicuous outside theme attracts with its mysteriously spicy flower. It is used to season dishes. Meat tastes especially piquant with thyme. Кажуть, що чабрець повертає не лише здоров'я, а й силу людини. Тому що раніше... They say that thymes returns not only as a person's health, but also strength. At the time it was used in its triturated form to return consciousness to unconscious people. They say this fragile plant could even return one to life. Dry thyme sprigs smell of our Ukrainian steps when burning. In medicine, this plant is used to treat both gastrointestinal and respiratory diseases. And this marvelous blooming plant has arrived from far Siberia. I want to introduce you to the Scutellaria bicalancesis. Its natural habitat is in the Far East, so of course we need to cultivate such plants in order to replenish the arsenal of plant resources in our country. Its grassy top is used as an allergy drug and the roots are used to treat hypertension. But what is gladiolus doing here? It was supposed to be an ornamental plant, and turns out it's also a medicinal plant. It is called gladiators flowers, not because its leaves resemble gladiators spears, but because gladiators carried with them its dried bulb. On the one hand, it served as protection from evil eyes. On the other hand, when the gladiators received a wound, they triturated the bulb and poured the wound with it to heal the wound faster. Today, gladiolus bulbs juice is used to treat diseases such as sinusitis. According to scientists, 40% of the flora of our planet has medicinal properties. Maybe soon we will learn the healing qualities of most terrestrial plants, but now we have to think about how to use the properties that we already know in the best way and about inventing new technologies. On the one hand, medicinal herbs have preserved the genetic memories of their wild origins. Therefore, they need less protective measures. Their immune systems are better than other agricultural crops. But we cannot rely solely on that, because there is not much good from plants that grow like weeds. Domesticated plants need more intention and care. Quenching their thirst, for example, requires a lot of thinking about how to do that. For example, and for now, the rainy method of irrigation is used for herbs. But scientists of the research station considered trying the drip method, popular for watering vegetables. It allows adding fertilizers and protection means in doses. They began with Echinacea and Valerian and saw great results. According to conventional technology, these crops take two years to grow, but with the new technology and the use of drip irrigation, the vegetation period is shortened to one year. The plants were studied in the laboratory, and it was found that all biologically active substances were in place and their number was just as high. The experiments with mint, lemon balm and oregano are currently in progress. Today's high technologies have reached this area as well since without them science is not competitive. We use modern equipment and instrumentation that can be installed in the field to control soil moisture in real time, so we can see when and where to give water and observe where it moves. How does it work? Special sensors are buried underneath the garden bed. They update the soil moisture information at the station every 15 minutes. And specialists can continuously watch what is happening on the field. Even considering the economy, the increase of yield from the use of this element covers the cost. 
Науковці впевнені, вирощування лікарських рослин річ перспективна. Scientists believe that growing herbs is promising. Entrepreneurs engaged in this business confirm that the profitability of certain varieties can reach 100 or even 500 percent. Joint developments help to achieve quality, which can be used to enter foreign markets and not just with raw materials, but with ready medicines as well. And soon, a cup of tea with Ukrainian medicinal herbs will delight the highly demanding Europeans.